I don't think I've played the Ocean, uh, Ocean Avenue map yet, even though it's been around for a while as a modded map. So let's do it. I'm gonna enable all this. Ultimate cross pathing mod, part two. We now have everything enabled. Everything, uh, can be cross pathed up to seven upgrades again. Any combination of seven upgrades, let's figure out what else is really strong. Let me just start with the free Dharma key and then think. We also now have water as well, so we could do a, a very strong boat, a very strong sub. Unfortunately, this is not a good, uh, not a good place to utilize boats. Now, as for subs, is there anything interesting with that? Perhaps. How about let's just start with Dark Monkey. We can do a triple crossbow. Sounds juicy. Let's try that. And there we go. And that is indeed triple crossbow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I wonder what's better though. Sharpshooter? Or what would fan club do? Would it be a crossbow fan club? I feel like that's too good to be true. I should mention again, these are uh, algorithmically generated, so the mod creator has not manually put this in. It's just whatever the algorithm thinks the upgrade's gonna be is what it's gonna come out as. So again, not as one may expect, because we expect it to shoot out crossbows with the fan club. But I think I'm just gonna go go the safe way. Triple sharpshooter, definitely a steal. That's literally 300 extra dollars to triple the damage of your sharpshooter. I call worth of that. Now we could also cross path farms. Hmm, I wonder how, yeah, uh, a tier three bank would, would be. Like either a marketplace? I, I, I wanna try a 133, just cause I'm lazy. So uh, yeah, marketplace. I wonder if I'll make money while also getting interest. What's a good boomerang cross path? Do you think a mole press with Bio Boomer? Bio Boomer is basically a speed upgrade. So would that make mole press shoot super darn fast? I wanna try that, so I'm just gonna buy Red Hot for 28. And let's get the bank now. And let's start cross pathing. Getting that marketplace. There we go. Currently sitting at a 132. At a boy. Hopefully I didn't waste my money. Oh, okay. Um, Every time the farm bounces, it adds to the money count. I think that's a good thing, right? That means it generates money faster within. Interesting. I am going to call worth of that. I don't believe it actually gives uh, lives, though. Because you should be gaining, uh, what you call it, one life every round. Uh, let's buy Kali now, just to defend the pinks here. So yeah, that's definitely worth it. I'm going to call worth of that, this farm. How much money per bounce is it? Yeah, it's like $47. Normally, the marketplace goes up uh, $25 or $26 with knowledge. So that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. It might be the tick from both the bank and and the marketplace, but I wouldn't know. Let's just try the uh, Bio Boomer Kylie. How fast does it shoot? Oh, yeah, it, shoot, it, shoots, it shoots fast. That's definitely worth. Now, you could also do Turbocharge to make it shoot super fast, but I think I want. Mob, mob DPS or mob support. Maybe for round forty here. Like, let's try. I think it, it activated twice. Otherwise, it wouldn't have lasted that long. So this is definitely a good cross path right here. This is three four. It did indeed work. Let's collect from the bank. Now we got nine five hundred. What's next on the table? I think it's time to upgrade this sharpshooter. There we go. I'm gonna buy a village too. I believe this one I can cross path. So I could do a discount, jungle drums, camo. Basically cover all, all my bases. This is the dream village right here that everyone's wanted. The 2-2-2 two, two, two village. Is the bank doing interest? I think it is. Let me just uh, collect after this round. So end round, let's collect. So round 49, we'll see how long it takes to fill up. I think that was like 8 rounds. And I believe normally the bank takes like 12 rounds to fill up. So, yeah, I think it's definitely worth. Now we're sitting on 30k, so we should probably spend that money on something. We don't really have to, though, because look. These two are just solo carrying, or duo carrying. I guess we could experiment with other uh, farm upgrades. I'm gonna not go bank. How about a 303? What would that do? Let's see. Hands off. Okay, it doesn't create bananas anymore, it just uh, wiggles. Wait, it does nothing. Okay. 
So I should get rid of this then, because it's... Unfortunately... Wait, no, no, it's making money again. That was weird. It's auto-collecting uh, whatever the marketplace gives. Or is it just a marketplace in disguise? Like, disguise is a top path farm. Because this is just what the marketplace does normally. I don't think doing this would work. I think it would be this. Let me just see. Yeah, okay, so top path doesn't really do anything, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it does. It's still throwing out 20s. So maybe the 20 is the banana plantation. And the 70 is bottom. So it's just additive. It's an additive, uh, what do you call it? Cross path. Nothing much to see there. Let me try... We already saw that the cluster uh, molly did nothing. But what about a cluster uh, balloon impact? Will that stun balloons in a large radius? Like this. No attack speed, I know. But I just want to see the radius. If it's going to even get in range. Up oh, there we go. There we go. There's some range. I think it was stunning, but... Without recursive... I don't think it's too good. It's just kind of there. Just a bigger impact, bigger radius balloon impact that shoots slower. So not that great, I don't think. How about a shell shock artillery? A 340. This would make it shoot super fast and stun every balloon. Let's just watch up here. Yep, that's a lot of stuns, all right. Although it still gets through. Don't forget, I do have an ability as well. That I'm not going to use because we're fine for now. Maybe I will right now, though. Yeah, sure, why not? That'll delete 63 easily. What about if I cross path uh, Maelstrom? Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see if it would be uh, Red Hot Projectiles. Let's try a uh, 3 4 0. What would that spin out? Uh, nothing interesting. We'll sell it. Honestly, I'm surprised that just Dart and Boomerang can basically cover most of, you know, the damage needed. And just the balloon set go through. This mortar right here can easily clean up. Pretty sick 3 tower combo, if you ask me. Shall we try the 3-4-0 boomerang? The Glaive Ricochet Turbo Charge. Shoots an insane amount of, uh, what you call it, Glaives, although we don't need it right now. It's going to go worse as the game goes on, because it's really only good against balloons, which there aren't a lot of in late game. So I should have gone earlier, but it's fine. We'll have a few rounds tested out. Like, just watch here. Uh, Giant 78 wave. Use the ability. Absolutely annihilated right there. So pretty good for stuff like that. So, uh, as for glue, I've heard uh, maybe 043 glue could be interesting. Like, what does the glue strike ability do? Does it throw... Uh, Okay, no, it actually doesn't apply glue anymore to Moab glue, or to Moab, so that's not good. Let me just use the ability, uh, now. Mm, yeah, it doesn't work on Moab, so that's not a good, not a good cross path, does not work here, sadly. Would have been nice to throw, uh, purple glue on every Moab, but unfortunately that's not how it's going to work out. Okay, we should probably get some no, nope, nope, I was gonna say we should get some defense, but, uh, somehow, this guy... Actually destroyed those Moabs. I think I know why. They buffed Turbocharge recently, or Bio Boomer, so that it does more damage to what you call it, Moab class balloons. I think it gave it plus one Moab damage. So if I use it now, it actually is not a bad late game option, huh? I'm just gonna buy a MIP though. I think it's lacking lead popping. So watch this again. Turbocharge. Pretty solid Moab damage. Look at that. Also super satisfying, as a bonus. I think I want to drop a Super Monkey now. I want to try the 304. I didn't try it last time. Let's see what that would do. So I guess I'll just do it now. It's a bit of a... Too much of a power spike, but... Regardless, take a look at that. It's basically Dark Champion, but... Shoots like a Sun Avatar. So in three different waves, or is that four? I think it's three. And you can also move it anywhere across the map, as expected. Oh, is it six? Oh, okay. Apparently it's a triple dark champion. So for only 20 extra dollars, you can triple the damage of a, an 80k tower. Yeah, as I said, some of these things were not going to be very balanced. So I'm just going to leave it back there, just so I can see some of these guys be useful still. Oh, I'm kind of curious to know this. Um, If I go fan club... And uh, either a Spike Bolt or a Crossbow. 
Will it shoot out hypersonic um, crossbows or juggernaut balls? So, use fan club. It is indeed a bunch of spikes. See that? Very cool. Although not super strong. Or maybe it is super strong. But I don't know. I bet the crossbow equivalent would be it would do better than that. So let's get that. Uh, if I use the ability, it only transforms... Oh, it only transforms one of them. That's fine. We'll have it individually transform. And as you see here, yep. The crossbow, hypersonic crossbow, is working. As intended. But it can't buff other fan clubs. Because it has this ability, or this upgrade. That's for 98 here. It's no surprise, this guy is just... Absolutely... Uh, Lasting on the competition. What should I do for the bad? You want to see um, this guy again? This is fun to use. Because this basically doubles the damage with overdrive. And uh, we should see a ton of damage. Yeah, that's pretty decent, alright. Although not too interesting. Compared to other things. Let me get rid of it. Oh, a uh, Rocket Storm Buckshot. Um, I'm not sure if that's interesting at all, but let me just test it out and see. Like, would it... Would the ability be a crap ton of, you know, buckshots that knock back things? Like, use it here. Uh, well, you can't really see the ceramics because they, they don't even exist. With this Dark Champion in the way. So hard to see. But maybe in a bit. How about now? Um, not... As strong, or not too much stronger than I would like, or would have expected. I think I just want to spam more of these guys. They're pretty fun to use. The three, four zeros. Maybe one of them will be a bottom path, just for uh, variety reasons. An 043, hypersonic Kylies. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but it's fun to use. Like, let's just unload all the abilities here. Just unload. With the, ability, with the ability active, it looks like they definitely pack a decent punch. Feels like. Handling DTs. Nicely. How about we go for the Grandmaster now? So, I haven't gone for a 5-1-1 tower yet. That's because there's not many that would be really good. Aside from, I guess, this guy. Because he'd be able to distract some rams and um, still seek. So, let's do that. Now, one thing I also uh, could do... Is do a 4-3-0 um, ninja. This would give uh, attack speed and shoot very fast. So a shinobi army, well, as you expect, would sound pretty insane. Although I don't know if I want to go for one right now. Just because I think it'd be a little bit too OP for us, to, for our eyes to see. But for now, I guess it'll, it'll be good. I guess I'll slowly get started on one. This farm has made uh, $100,000. I'm not sure that's normal for a 25k farm. But I think they definitely are stronger than... Uh, you couldn't cross path them. Let's just uh, build a tiny ninja army. Just to see how much it can actually do for now. Again, we'll use Burmian abilities as they come up. Like, it's surprising that even in the 100s, the abilities are making an impact. Like, you can see the difference when you activate the ability. Honestly, pretty impressive this guy. Is that 800k pops? These guys are a little bit pined. This is the most underrated cross path. Like the one I least expected to do something. But has surprisingly done very, very well. Okay, that's a lot of zoom Gs. I think I'm gonna have to dark, dark shift here. Which means I'm probably going to get my temple now because we're struggling. Struggle lugging against 131 here. So where do I set it up? Doesn't matter. Again, assuming you can dark shift. I'm just doing this this corner here. It's just because right now there's no tower here. Let me just see. Sun Avatar. Do I want to give it max buffs? I'll give it a little bit of buffs. Not like... They don't have to be maxed. Just uh, a little bit of all the good categories. Yeah, I'm not going for a max, so this should probably be fine. I think it's time to see what's up with this guy. So let me just sell a farm. Uh, I should cross... Yeah, cross path first. Just cause. And Sun Temple, let's do it. I see a Dark Knight ability. And the main attack, I don't think is uh, much different. It seems just to be a main beam. It probably just does extra mobile damage. Which is what Dark Knight gives. Otherwise, nothing special. 
Now let's move it. Uh, oh, can I even place it anywhere? I can, I can. For some reason, it's oh, it's, it's only in range, right? Only in range. Let's try. Hey, it works. Nice. A dark shifting temple. You love to see it. Now that's a first. That's the only reason why I wanted the Dark Knight Cross Path. My life is complete. Now let's move it uh, to the front of the map. Slowly but surely. It feels like I also place it on the track. Uh, did I just do a double take there? Let me let me try that again. Or see that again. Because I swear that was the case. So again, yeah. Look. This must be a weird bug. I can place it anywhere. I can even place it on top of towers. Alright, let me just plop it over my ninjas real quick. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind me. Just making my way. Making it slow journey. Over to the front of the track. Stampeding everything in its way. All the way to the front. So there we go. I think we're going to leave in this position. Again, I haven't even tried out, let's say, 80% of the cross pads right now. With just 7 upgrades max. Again, this is for the basic version. There is another version. That may allow me to get more than 7. But may take a, a bit to load. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, the, the I, I noticed this. Yeah, the military plane, it circles over the original position. Uh, it, it doesn't move with the temple, sadly. Not that it even does much. Let's be, let's be real. Alright, so the final round of this challenge. Let's see if the Dark Shipping Temp can do it. Like, I, I am actually going to uh, move this guy once it gets out of range. In fact, let me just get a head start. Again, stampede over my ninja army even. Let's move my dark shift over here. Should be able to defend it, right? Hope so. Let me dark shift the 304 again. Let's dark shift the temple once more. Hmm, still missing a lot of damage. I think we'll make it in time, just to be sure again, move temple. Move temple. This could be a tight finish, actually. I might die DTs, yeah. Not if my... Uh, nope. Not enough time there. I think this run is doing a little better. I'm gonna get some more bad damage though. I like this overdrive. Because I'm not being this bad. Even if I beat the insides of this... Zoom G. This pesky Zoom G here. Had to waste a dark shift on that, sadly. Well, let's hope there's enough damage. Because it doesn't look all too hot right now. Anytime now, alright. Think that'll do it. I probably should just sell all this because it's the last round anyways. So, they're out of range. And, uh, I think this will work. Nice. So, Mucky Star, 304. Although, I'm pretty sure that Temple did quite a bit as well. Again, there's the Ultimate Cross Bathing mod. Very fun stuff. 